Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craft Tastic. I started out in the beginning of planning, testing out the bullet journaling waters a little bit, and I kind of moved from that into the happy planner and then to doing um, my own inserts and from scratch spreads. So now I just kind of want to revisit the bullet journaling as far as the creativity of it. And I'm going to start out with this Exceed journal that I got from Walmart, I think, two school seasons ago. Um, it was in the school supply section. This is the washi tape from the Sophisticrate box. <laughs> and I just stuck that in here. But this is what it looks like. It's got a cream colored paper. It's got more of a yellowish tint to it and it is dot grid I don't really care for the color of the paper but I'm going to work with it um, this is the band that was actually on the book let's see and this is the information on the back so again this is from Walmart I don't know if they still carry them or what the case is the color is really distracting <laughs> but I'm gonna see what I can do what I did was skip like the first 10 pages I think and then I kind of sketched out the October calendar let's see here it is I kind of sketched out the beginnings and did my counting of the squares and everything just to make sure that I had enough space um, to do what I want it to do. So now I'm going to go in and actually draw the lines. And maybe I'm not going to use this because it's not laying flat. That's a problem. Let me look and see. This is my pouch for pens and pencils from Mystic's Little Gifts. Um, let me look at, I have another one that is actually a real lectern I don't know how to pronounce that let me look at that one and see and I know they also have these at um, Michael's a version of these notebooks at Michael's so I could possibly try that as well but I really want to get started on this this cover is I think from so what else is new or something like that I'll link to her shop below but this is an actual, um, oh, it's not white paper either. Hmm. Let's see. So this is information for this. So as you can see, I try to like keep everything. <laughs> it does have the index in the front. Let's compare sizes. I think this one is smaller. Yeah. So, hmm, decisions, decisions. This one is about a, a half inch smaller. So I'm thinking this is a true A5. Maybe I'll go with the original and leave the knockoff for something else. Now I'm kind of hating that I actually sketched in it. Let's look at the color of the papers. Yeah, this one is a little more yellow-ish. The paper feels the same. I haven't done any pen tests in either one of them. But I think solely on size alone, this one lays flat it's pretty much on its own. So that's a plus, and this doesn't. Hmm. So I guess I will just resketch my idea, as you can see here. I'm not good enough to just go in with pen. So I'll resketch that, and I think I'll use this one. <laughs> 